Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today we are finishing the last block for the friendly sampler. Here's what we'll need for our block. The center square, green square is four and a half inches and all of the strips around are four and a half inches by two and a half inches. These squares are five inches. So I'll be making some half square triangles using these four squares. And I also need eight two and a half inch squares. And all of this will be down below in the description box. And the first thing I'm going to do to make our block here is I'm going to be working on the half square triangles using these large squares. So I'll put the two squares together and I will draw a pencil line from corner to corner and I will sew a seam on by both sides of the pencil line. I will trim along that pencil line and then after pressing I will trim my four half square triangles to four and a half inches. Before pressing and trimming my half square triangles, I am going to make some flying geese units with the outside rectangles here using those two and a half by four and a half strips and the two and a half inch squares. I will sew from corner to corner on one of those squares. I'm going to press it open and make sure that it covers that triangle square or area in the back and then I will add another square on the other corner and these should overlap just about a quarter of an inch there where they come together in the center and once this has been the background triangles have been trimmed away and it's been pressed this unit should measure two and a half by four and a half and this will be my flying geese unit for the outside of this beautiful block. Now that everything has been pressed, I will trim and get all of my units ready before putting this block together.
put the block together, I first need to put those flying geese units next to those pink rectangles to make sort of a square. And the square that I will construct here should measure four and a half inches by four and a half inches. This is such a beautiful block and I thought it would be fun to take some fabrics out of my stash just a different colorway and see if I could make the same block with some different fabric and see what it would look like if I made a whole quilt using this really pretty block. So I took a blueprint for the center and I used a red right around that blueprint. I just looked at that blueprint and kind of chose some colors from that print and there was some red and green in there. So then I chose some greens with a background fabric that has some polka dots and this block came out really beautiful. Here's the block all together and at the end I'll show you what it might look like in a quilt. Today was the last day of the Friendly Sampler quilt block uh, instructions. I have one more or maybe two more videos left to just talk about the Friendly Sampler. I'll be adding a border to my Friendly Sampler and we'll talk about that next time but this is the last block if you've been following along. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.